Using AI, you can turn your loop from this to this. Maybe wondering where am I? Well, if you're new, you're on my channel. But if you've already been subscribed, you may be wondering where I am. I'm in Atlanta. I'm in my hotel room right now, but had to do a little emergency broadcast because there's a really cool AI tool I want to show you guys. And I didn't have a video for this week. So just wanted to film one, even though the setup isn't ideal. But shit, let's get into it. My friend Luke and his friend from college have been working on this site called Database for a minute and they gave me early access to it. And ever since then, I've been using it every day because I found a way to make AI sound design for me. Now on this site, there's a bunch of other stuff. You can use the vocal style tool to make yourself sound like Drake. You can do text to audio, give it a prompt. It will make that prompt into a loop. You can use the stem splitter to split beat or a song into vocals and drums and all the different parts. But what I've been using is audio to audio. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I use audio to audio to sound design for me, be super lazy and make cool sounding shit. There will be a link to the site in the description. So if you guys wanna check it out, there's a free plan. So you can try it out for free. And if you wanna be able to make infinite AI loops, then you, you got to pay a little bit every month. But either way, I feel like you guys should go try this out because there's a lot of cool stuff that you can make with it. So step number one, I'm going to put on my headphones. Ow. We're going to make a starter and then run it through AI and it's going to turn out crazy. And we're just going to try doing a nice starter. That's a pretty good eight bars. The website processes up to 30 seconds. So what I like to do is we're at 128, then 16 bars is exactly 30 seconds. So we can just make this unique and we can add a switch up just cause then it will have more audio to process. So I'm gonna try simplifying this MIDI a little bit for the second half. Honestly, no, nah, I'm gonna pitch it up in the second half and I'll put half time on it just so that it automatically makes the MIDI a little bit less complicated. For the best results, you should try to give it a pretty dry sound, but equally, I've gotten cool results just from messing around and putting like crazy shit into there. So my best advice would be experiment with giving it very simple things to build off of and experiment with giving it super complicated things. You know, maybe there's a song you want to sample, try feeding it to the AI. So then if the sample was piano, you could turn it into guitar. All right, I'm gonna just bounce the piano out now and we can run it through and I'll show you guys some good prompts that I found. So when you wanna run it through, you're just gonna click on audio to audio and then click on this to upload your file, piano for video. And then you're just gonna hit upload and you wanna change all these start times to zero. If you want, you could have it play from later in the thing that you uploaded because it only does 30 seconds, but usually I just give it 30 seconds and then set it to zero. And then here you describe what you do want and if you click negative prompt, you can describe what you don't want. So a prompt that I found works pretty well is ambient, tame impala, indie guitar, female vocals. And what I don't want is blues, jazz, drums, because it's trained on a model that has a lot of older music. So if you don't say that, hey, maybe you want some blues drums, but I found that saying no to all those things gives me better results. So now you can name your output file. I'll just leave it as that. And then we just click mix. And it usually takes like 10 or 20 seconds and then it'll be done. Since the site just came out, there's a little bug where it might leave you on task queued. And if you have that problem, just go to the files tab and it will still show up. So let's see what it turned our piano into. As you can see, it sounds a little bit weird. Sometimes the results are a little odd. And what I like doing is 
you know, I like that second part. So I'm gonna hit download and then we're gonna run it through a bunch more times and then we'll combine all of those AI loops that we got. We're gonna go back to audio to audio, load in our, you know, for video. And this time, another prompt that I found is pretty interesting is we go Don Tolliver, Mike Dean, synth bass, movie score, no drums, no piano, no vocals. And we'll name this mixed two and we'll run it through. I'm just gonna run it through a couple more times. So I'll let you know what prompt I use and then we'll combine all the results together. As you can see, we got stuck on task queued again. So we just go over to the files and it showed up. Let's see how the Don Tolliver, Mike Dean sounds. Honestly, that one sounded really sick too. I think the second half is just working better because the piano is pitched down and the MIDI is less complicated in that second half. But this time I'm gonna ask ChatGPT. I'm gonna tell it I'm using an AI that generates melodies for me. Could you give me unique prompts that would generate melodies that combine genres, don't have drums, and would be good to sample. Give me 10 prompts. All right, let's see. A melody that incorporates elements of African music and indie pop with a focus on kalimba and vocal harmonies. Oh, let's try that. We're gonna load in the piano and do that as the prompt. And then we're gonna say no drums, no blues, no jazz. And let's see how this turns out. All right, we got our results. Let's see what it did. Again, that second half sounds nice. I'm impatient, so I'm gonna load all those three in, the three prompts that we did, and then we can combine them into a sick sample. Just line them all up. As you can see, they're a little loud. I'm gonna just route them to the mixer and then select all those and route them to their own channel so we can affect all of them at once. Normally what I do is I put soothe on it, but if you want, you can just manually go in, EQ out all the harsh frequencies. And now we're just gonna lower this a little bit because it will be a little loud. And let's see how they sound together. We just gotta chop out this little beginning part. Let's see. I love that second part. I'm gonna go in and just chop out the parts I like. I like that chord more than the one over here. So I'm gonna do this and I guess I could leave this chord right here and just do that. Oh man, I'm not very good at chopping things. All right, that, that looks right. And usually what I do once I have something that I like and it's chopped up, I'll just make stems out of it so that we get each of the samples individually and then I'll render it out and flip it from there, you know, just treat it like a sample that I would be flipping. So you're gonna render this out and I'm gonna try messing with the pitch and the speed of it and see what we can turn it into. All right, with this one, uh, I just pitched it around. I uh, tried pitching one of the layers up the octave and inevitably just by putting a doubler on it and pitching it, it turned into this. And the crazy thing is, other than me finessing it a little bit, really all the work, all the sound design was done by the AI. And it, it started just by giving it this piano that we did.
So really quick, I'm just gonna put some drums on here, uh, but then we can try making another sample and running it through. Well, that beat's done, and I didn't have to sound design shit. Now, let's try a different approach. I'm gonna try making something super ambient, and then we're gonna try running it through and see if it will give us something that's less ambient. So to make this ambient, I'm gonna go in Omnisphere and find some textures, and I'll report back once I get an ambient loop. All right, I just made this, and we're gonna run it through. Well, first I noticed the Dom Tolliver, Mike Dean synth bass movie score one with no drums, no vocals, no blues, no jazz, no piano. That one turns out really sick. So we're gonna start off with that and then we're gonna try to come up with a prompt that I haven't done before. All right, it's done. Let's see what it made it into. Now, there are some real harsh frequencies in there, and that's why I put Soothe on it, and that's why if you use it and you don't have Soothe, you should, I don't know, you could just go in and EQ all those frequencies out. But the idea in there is really sick. Now, let's try to do another one. Let's try beautiful female choir singing. With no piano, you know the drill. No piano, no blues, no jazz, no drums. All right, let's see if it gave us a beautiful female choir. I think those plucks that we put in there are making it sound all screechy. So I'm gonna try removing the plucks. And this is something you guys should try doing too, is when you're feeding it a starter that you made, try giving it one layer, you know? Give it the piano and have it make something and then give it the counter melody. You know, if there's one sound that you feel like is messing it up, then you can just remove that sound and run it back through. Cause I do like how that first prompt went but I feel like maybe we can get a better beautiful female choir if we don't have that counter melody we did. All right, here it is without the plucks. Honestly, that worked a lot better. Uh, it is really very trial and error. So if you guys do go and check this out, uh, I feel like you can make really cool stuff. You know, for instance, try running your own vocals through the audio to audio. Try making starters for it. Try running samples that you found on YouTube through it. Just experiment and over time you'll learn prompts that work really well. Like for instance, I know that the ambient indie, I'll try acoustic, acoustic guitar, Tame Impala. Uh, I know that that one can sometimes sound really sick and you can just make a list of the prompts that you think are cool and honestly in the comments let me know what prompts work for you guys and then you guys can help each other out and we can all make cooler shit in here. I think we only need one more for this one because both of the ones we downloaded sounded pretty sick. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Dang, that last 
part is fire. Drag them all in, and then normally there's a little MP3 part that you gotta cut off, rat them all somewhere, and put Soothe on all of them because those harsh frequencies, man. Just imagine where AI is gonna be because already we can do stuff like this. Imagine in 10 years where it's gonna be at. I would rather be on the side of it where I'm making cool shit with it than be on the side where I'm hating on it and I get left behind because I feel like some of this is gonna, like I don't, I don't even like sound designing, dude. Now I don't have to. <laughs> bounce them all out, treat them like a sample like last time, and flip it into a beat. Maybe we could try slowing it down because I feel like it's a bit on the fast side. So I'm gonna try pitching it down two and slowing it down to maybe like 129. And like last time, I like putting a doubler on it just because all of the samples that it makes are in mono. So I'm gonna do that. turned out way crazier than I thought it was going to. Anyways, if you guys want to check out the site, the link will be in the description. Shout out fucking Luke and his friend to college for making it. And uh, let me know if you guys make something cool with it. Uh, I'm going to keep my eyes out for other AI stuff coming out. But until then, good luck cooking. And now we don't have to sound design anymore.